This beautiful law was crafted to help solo parents from the burden of raising their children by themselves. Pinatawagan po natin ang ating mga kasamahan na muling silipin ang batas na ito. Partikular ang hindi pagbibigay ng 1,000 pesos na allowance kada buwan ng maraming LGU sa mga kualifikadong solo parents. Artilis Act CIS the Honorable Erwin T. Tulfo be recognized to avail of the privilege are. The Honorable Erwin Tulfo is recognized for his privilege speech. Madam uh, Speaker, distinguished colleagues, I will be uh, concise and brief. Thank you for the opportunity in allowing me to rise and speak this afternoon on this floor of this hallowed institution regarding a law intended for solo parents that has not been fully implemented for reasons I will state later. Madam Speaker, it has come to my attention that the implementation of the Expanded Solo Parent Act under Republic Act 11861 should be and must be revisited due to non-compliance of several of its provisions, ironically by several local government units and business establishments. Among these provisions are the 1,000 pesos monthly allowance for solo parents, the 10% discount and exemption from the value-added tax of specified items, and the prioritization of our solo parents from re-entering the workforce. This beautiful law was crafted to help solo parents from the burden of raising their children by themselves. However, what good will it take? What good will it take if this law that was intended to solely help them raise their children is not being utilized? Kaya pinatawagan po natin ang ating mga kasamahan na muling silipin ang batas na ito. Partikular ang hindi pagbibigay ng 1,000 pesos na allowance kada buwan ng maraming LGU sa mga kualipikadong solo parents. Ang dahilan po na sinasabi ay wala po silang pondo o pagkukunan dahil mahirap po ang bayan nila lalo pat sila ay nabibilang sa 5th o 6th class municipalities. Saan nga ba kukunin nila ang nasabing pondo? Likewise, I would like to call the attention of the Department of Trade and Industry to make sure that the discounts for solo parents must be given by business establishments nationwide. And I call upon the private corporations and government institutions to hire solo parents, not only because it is stated in the law, but as Filipinos helping a Filipino solo parent to raise his or her children or child single-handedly. Therefore, Madam Speaker, I urge the appropriate committee to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the status of the implementation of Republic Act 11861, better known as the Expanded Solo Parents Act. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, we move that the privileged speech of the Honorable Erwin Tulfo be referred to the Committee on Rules for Appropriate Action. There's a motion to refer the privileged speech of the Honorable Erwin Tulfo to the Committee on Rules. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. The motion is approved. <laughs>